हेलो वेलकम टू एस एस यूनिटेक सोशल साइड एंड दिस इज कंटिन्यूएसन ऑफ सिक्वल क्वेरी फिफ्टी डे चैलेंजेस सो वी आर इन डे थ्री सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी वन मोर सिक्वल रियल टाइम इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड हियर द कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी लेवल इज इजी सो दिस इज द इजी क्वेश्चन गोइंग फॉरवर्ड वी विल बी गोइंग टू इंट्रोड्यूस द मीडियम एंड हाई कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी लेवल क्वेश्चन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विथ टूडेज वीडियो so let's assume we have one of the input table that will be having two columns first is the employee id and second is the team id in the output of this we just want to have two columns the first column will be employee id and the second column will be your team size so how we can calculate the team size so for calculating the team size if we can see here so the team id that we are having eight so how many eights are available here so eight is available three times so like three employees are working in the same team so that's why we can see the team size is three for these three employees similarly for id 5 and id 6 we are having two employees in the department that is nine so these two employees are working in same department so here the team size we can see two in both the places so we are required to write a query for getting this output so let's jump to sequo server management studio where we'll try to write the query for getting this output so here i have written this script for creating the table along with the inserting some of the data on this table so let me try to execute this query for creating the table and inserting the data in this table now let me try to write the select statement for checking the data that is available on this table now so this is the same data that we have seen in the file now here first we are required to take the count of the team id from this table on the basis of team id so the first column we are required to have as a team id and the second column that we want to have the count whatever the count that will be getting from here we can simply go and try to write group by with the team id so here we can execute this query so now we can see we are having the team id and how many employees are working on that team so here we can see like id 8 we are having three employees id 9 we are having two employees id 7 we have one employee now here either we can put this into one of the ct and then after we can join that ct with the actual table or we can also use this as a sub query and here let me try to write the select from your actual table so your table is tbl underscore team size let me put an alias with a and here we can simply go and do the inner join with this query so here in the on condition a dot your team id should be equals to b dot your team id and in the select first we are required to get the employee id from table a and the second table that is your query we just want to have the count so we can go and use the count here let me try to execute this query for getting the output so here we can see this is not in the proper sorted order so we can also do the order by on the first column that is your employee id let me execute and we'll see the output so we can see like first three employees are working in same department so the count we can see 3 similarly for 4 we have only one employee and employee 5 and 6 is working in the same department so we can see count as 2 thank you so much for watching this video please like this video subscribe our channel and see you in the next video